Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In a recent video of mine, The Joys of Grand Theft Auto 4, I briefly touched on the in-game internet and showed a few websites. The thing is, when I made that video, the internet segment was part of a larger chapter. In this video, I want to take a deeper dive into the internet and take a look at some internet sites and pages that you've probably never seen before. Now I've just logged into my apartment computer here and I'm going to go into my internet browser. There was something in my initial video that I just couldn't find the time for and that's this. It's the social section of the internet and it has quite a few different uh, websites all for, for social purposes. So if we go into a thousand words, for example, it's basically, a, I'm not sure what this website is akin to. It's supposed to be a photo sharing website here. So if we go to the FAQ, what is online photo sharing? Sharing photos online, moron. In short, it's a great way to view and trade porn or vacation photos. How do I register? It's easy. Just send us your personal details, name, address, phone number, fingerprints, and social security number. And then hope and pray that one of our creepy moderators does not sell them or stalk you. So this is a photo sharing website where people from across the world uh, share photos, I suppose. We've got Stephanie here from Liberty City. Um, we've got this dude here, Glinchworm from Las Venturas. I'm a bit of a social butterfly, and my pics show that. I've decided that I don't care who knows it. I take pics of feet. I love feet, especially ones that people think are ugly. Really old, yellow ones are my favorite, and sometimes I visit... <laughs> Oh god, sometimes I visit a hospice and say that I'm related to someone so I can take pictures of their feet before they die. It's really sexual and spiritual. Good lord, I wish I picked another example. I'm sure Sweet Wreck from Vice City will be a little better. Hmm, I love to travel. Adventure and taking trips to meet new people in new places is what I'm all about. I'm still in the process of discovering who I am and what I want, but a little bit of everything seems to be working. I love to share pictures and am classy, sensual, and trashy. If anyone wants to come visit me, that would be great. I am a queen who sometimes likes to be a serf. Let's take a look at the comments for this. I'm divorced and was a medic in Nam. Now I drive a truck and would love to exchange photos. Hi, sweet wreck. I also used to be a man. Would be great to swap stories and pics. Any problems with stubble? They did an amazing job on your Adam's apple. Sweet wreck says, I'm a woman, you f asshole or bitch or whatever i'm about to write some horrible shit in your gallery there's some really stupid stuff here we have trotter here from los santos bork light 1809 from paris and pcv pipe girl from san fierro overall a very stupid website with some very stupid people moving on to electric tit which is a video sharing website kind of similar to youtube Join the video sharing revolution, the world's most visited website. Upload your home videos and start a flame war with a 10 year old. Don't worry if you blacked out on Saturday night, your humiliating antics will be posted somewhere on Electric Tit. Over 50 million clips watched every day for free. TV shows, music videos, celebrity sightings, movies still in theaters, religious propaganda, spam advertising, grainy Yeti footage, bum fights, webcam booty shakes, Awful movie parodies, wrestling dwarves, unfunny machinima, that's an especially funny one. Teenage, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word, dictator executions, tragic vlogs, and lots and lots of porn. There is something for everyone on Electric Tit. Bear yourself. We have mum's cream pie recipes, stuck in an elevator, honey I met a hooker. Unfortunately, Electric Tit has filed for bankruptcy. Ever since we went public and sold Electric Tit to search engine powerhouse iFind in 2006 for $22 billion, we have had the rancid breath of censorship breathing down our necks and users have been leaving us in droves. It disgusts us that people don't see us as a promotional vehicle. Why are CNT and CCC and Weasel all wound up about us posting their shows online for free hours after they air? We're creating fans for them by giving away their stuff for free. That's how the internet works. Steal some shit and give it away until you shut down. Soon all we'll have left are clips of funny animals and fat kids lip syncing the pop songs. What use is the internet without porn and violence? To add insult to injury, MeTV has filed a billion dollar lawsuit against Electric Tip for copyright infringements. Apparently, free publicity and a broader audience are less important to them than milking their back catalogue. So in short, this is the end of the road for Electric Tip. We are officially, this word has been flagged as inappropriate. And unfortunately, all of the videos on this website have been flagged as inappropriate. And anytime we try to click on one, unfortunately, they are flagged as inappropriate. Thankfully, all of the comments are still here, 
on the, like on this video, stuck in an elevator going down? Question mark. Thanks for Weasel. I have better vids on my side. She was beating that thing like it owed her money. I'd eat that guy's mullet. This can't be real. When do hot girls ever say elevators make me horny to middle-aged guys? So unfortunately, electric tit is out for the count. My room online is obviously supposed to be like MySpace. If we scroll down, we'll see how it works. Tips for creating the perfect My Room page. Express yourself with a garish, multicolored background. Your page should be as ugly and distracting as possible. Make it look like a peacock, ate a crayon box, and shit on the internet. Use a font color that is as similar to the background color as possible. The idea is that people should feel physically nauseated after reading a couple of sentences. My favorite one is write shitty poetry and add some cheesy quotations like, live every day as if it were your last. The best part about this website is that all of these profiles here are accessible and you can click on them and learn about these people. Like Black Frost 5 for example, who is 19 and lives in Alderney. His relationship status is broken hearted and he's here for acceptance and a voice. He's currently an art school student and likes tight pants, poetry, self mutilation, piercings, playing with mum's makeup and death. Dislikes jocks, mainstream shit, meat and capitalism. Well what about Flap Tickler here, who is 42 and lives in Fort Carson. His relationship status is in a domestic dispute and he is here to make friends. Profession. I drive an ice cream truck. Likes. Dolls, guns, dogfights. He dislikes kids and real women. His strengths are shooting, stalking and flashing and his weaknesses are aggression and love of violence. And clearly, spelling. The most interesting profile on here is Eddie Lowe Filth Slayer. Now if you know anything about Eddie Lowe is that he is a character in Grand Theft Auto 4 who you can stumble across in Alderney. As it turns out, Eddie is kind of creepy and is in fact a serial killer. If we go onto his My Room Online page, we're taken to this. A white background with blood splats everywhere. Let's take a look at his profile. Username, Eddie Lowe Filth Slayer. Age, 32. Gender, God. Hometown, everywhere and nowhere. Relationship status, lonely. Here for self-promotion. Of course, we know what that's about. Profession, street cleaner. Likes, pain, human suffering, mind games, wearing silk panties, and surgical masks. Dislikes, complacency, cops. When people take a long time to burn. Strengths, filleting, skinning, embalming. Weaknesses, none. Best physical feature, eyes. Drink of choice, spinal fluid. Drug of choice, PCP. Weapon of choice, can't decide. Do you have a nickname for your genitals? Daddy's little cigar. How many sexual partners have you had? Tens or hundreds. Depends if dead people count. Let's have a look at this section. Shaved or natural? No, 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 no. Shower or grower? Eddie shows his pickle to lots of people. When did you last have sex? With a hitchhiker this morning. One word to describe you. Unhinged. What makes you happy? Eddie feels nothing. Finish this sentence. I wish I could have married my mommy. There is a large about me section here which he has written. I won't go through all of it, but if you want to, take your time and read through it. Pause the video, do what you have to do. As you can imagine though, Eddie has zero friends. This isn't the last time we'll be seeing Eddie Lowe on the internet here. Let's move on to Blog Snobs. Blog Snobs, as you could probably guess, is a blogging website where you can read people's blogs. There's actually quite a few that you can read on here, and one of them is Liberated Woman. This is of course Alex, who you meet on Craplist. Whenever you go out on a date with Alex, she will blog about her date with Nico and her experiences after the date, if you catch my drift. Like this one, for example. Updated one day ago. Nico earned himself a lot of brownie points today. I might even dress up like a brownie for him. If he plays his cards right. My stomach is so ripped right now, I really could pass for a girl half my age. He took me to this cool spot for cocktails, which was just what the doctor ordered. Actually, the doctor ordered me to start eating before I have a heart attack, but what does he know? I didn't hear him complaining when he was pile driving me over the defibrillator. It was the perfect date. Expensive drinks surrounded by beautiful people. That's what life is all about. My life, anyway. 
I've been doing blow all day, so the last thing I wanted was food or conversation. I'm so happy and buzzed right now. Great friends, amazing clothes, perfect body, a luxury apartment, and a string of rich, successful men lining up to penetrate me. Sometimes I think to myself, is having everything ever enough? There's quite a few posts here, like this one for example, when she first meets Nico. He's called Nico and he's from Russia, or Europe, or somewhere like that. His accent is so deep and erotic. As soon as he saw me, I could tell that he was undressing me with his eyes. Dark, brooding eyes. Also on the Blog Snobs website though is, once again, Eddie Lowe Filthslayer. You can see he has his picture behind this pentagram, and there's blood splatters and a cleaver on his page. Again, he has his profession as street cleaner, and his interests are still filleting, skinning, and embalming. Let's take a look at his blog. Updated 40 minutes ago. Eddie has been a naughty boy. I only went for a walk by the river, mother, I promise. There's a jogger in the bushes. I hate joggers. You are given the greatest gift of all, life. And what do you do with it? Jog. Fucking narcissists. Look at me. Look at me lunge and stretch. Look at me hopping in place while I wait for the lights to change. Ooh, I'm not going to run. I'm not gonna walk. I'm going to jog. Get off the fucking fence before I impale you on it. Oops, I already have. I brought the head back for Boo Boo Wilkins, but he isn't impressed. That cat has got ideas too big for his britches. I like to cut the heads off joggers to see if they keep running, like chickens. Sometimes the only difference between making love and making hate is a turn of the wrist. So tired. How about another one? Eddie, you really must clean up that diarrhea. You can even click here to see previous posts. I think that's enough of social networking. Let's go to libertycitypolice.com. This is the LCPD website. It's one of the only pages that you can access. In fact, one of two. The other page is the more interesting one, because if you go down to here, you can click on the database. This is the same database that you can access in police vehicles. So if we go to A to E here, we can see Roman and Nico Bellic. Let's click on Nico. Age, 30. Place of birth, unknown. Affiliations linked to Russia and West Indian criminals in Broker. If we go to P to U, we can see Gay Tony Prince. Nightclub entrepreneur believed to have links to organized crime, particularly the Ancelotti Crime Syndicate, though the DA's office has not managed to make any of the charges stick. Something we can do though is again, go to L and we can see Eddie Lowe. Age 32, place of birth, San Fierro. Criminal record, animal cruelty, exposure of a person, and public lewdness. Possible sex offender, arrested several times for exposing himself to men in parks and masturbating in public places. The LCPD has no idea about his darker background. Another interesting website is www.liesdamlies.net. This is a website dedicated to conspiracy theories and everything to do with them. We have a few different ones here. Let's click on women. Women. The ultimate conspirators? Loch Ness from San Fierro says, I'm sure you all visit my blog, but I wanted to repost this. Scientists somewhere have discovered that there is an ingredient in sprunk soda that stops women from having orgasms. That explains a lot. For years, I have plied lonely looking women with vodka and sprunk before luring them back to my studio under false pretenses, but despite all of my best efforts, they always seem to lie there like a sack of potatoes until I unload one, cry, and then ask them to leave. Until now, I had put it down to my hairy back and tiny member. What a relief. Chemtrail from Liberty City says, I knew it. Does it also cause premature ejaculation? I drink loads of sprunk and last five seconds at most. Reichstag Fire from Los Santos says, Next you'll be telling me that a woman will run for president. Ha! I hate vaginas. There are other conspiracies like the all-seeing eyes watching you, brainwashing and mind control, Aliens and UFOs, this is a very interesting one, as well as a couple of others. The Liberty Tree is a news website which actually will reflect what's going on in the story. For example, this article here. Video game violence becomes real. Argument over video games leads to murder. I have recently done a mission in the story where, for Dwayne, I go and talk to his ex-girlfriend and try and get back the money that he's owed. Unfortunately, the biker, Javon Simpson, had to die. So this appeared in the news. Javon Simpson's body was one of the many collected by coroners in Algonquin recently. It wasn't a knife or a gun or a rocket launcher that killed this man though. He was killed by video games. Witnesses report a heated argument outside Video Geddon Arcade. 
an establishment where addicts pump quarters into computers to get their fix of horrific violence. The argument was followed by a chase on motorbikes, then his grisly murder. It is no surprise that upset community leaders are pointing to games as the cause of his death. The pattern of altercation, vehicle chase, murder, rebirth, and try again is common in video games, although Mr. Simpson was a known drug user and dealer with several convictions. We are certain this case is due to polygons and pixels, not parole boards. This is obviously referencing some of the, let's say, criticism that Rockstar has received for their violent video games in the past in the media, and there's a lot of very, very funny articles like Deadly Baby. Joshua Hampton, aged six months, was arrested by police after a neighbor called in the report of strange noises at the apartment next door. Police found the body of Abraham Hampton, 31, stuffed under a baby changing station in their Rotterdam Hill apartment. Joshua and his mother were already planning their wedding. One of the coolest, if not the coolest websites on the internet is what they do not want you to know. Get the most out of liberty. All of the secrets are here. And that is true. For example, one of the quote unquote collectibles, if you could call it that, is the pigeons in the city, which you can go around and shoot. This website actually gives you the locations of all of these pigeons that you can go and find. So they just put this information in the game for you to find, maybe stumble across. And it's all here. We also have the hidden weapons that the mayor wants you to find. These are the locations of guns hidden around the city that you can just go and pick up. You don't have to buy any from any back alley dealers. You can just go to one of these green dots and find a gun. Health is a gift from space. Worship the worm. These are locations of health packs across the city and different places that you can find health. Sick freaks to avoid. Now, I believe this is the location of all of the strangers that you can find in the game. So down here, this is probably the first encounter you'll find in the game where the guy gives you a random hundred dollars and then down here is where you'll find him again and take him to go get that big quote unquote boulder. So yeah, this is all of the all of the different stranger locations. So you can go to these locations and go and do those stranger missions. Make sure you've got armor, be ready to fight the aliens. I guess you can probably figure out what this is. This is armor locations in the game where you can go and find some armor. Text message cars is up next. I know you're all crazy, but are you crazy enough to take some cars? This is posted by Stevie. Now these are the locations of all of the Stevie's car theft cars that you can get in the game. Posted by Stevie himself. The next one is, well look at that, who is that there? Eddie Lowe, fun with friends. Personally, not quite sure what this is for, but okay then. A very, very cool, interesting site. But we have a link hit down here to Area 53. This is a website by Marvin Trill, and I believe that was a radio show in San Andreas of the same name, hosted by this very same man. This was posted in 1999, somewhere in the desert, so I believe that lines up. This is the only page, and you can pause and take a read of this if you want to, um, but I won't be reading it out. Brucey also has his own website. Um, you can click on all of these links and they will have separate pages. Brucey's website is pretty much about as unhinged as you think it's going to be. Um, I recommend going and taking a look at some of these. Let's take a look at Brucey's motivation. Motivation is my middle name. Bruce Motivation Kibbutz. You think I'm joking, but I had it changed legally last year. I also have G tattooed on my left butt cheek and D on my right butt cheek to remind me that I am genetically different. Every morning I touch my toes, look through my legs, and see God reflected in the full length mirror. Believe it or not, the Apple equivalent, Fruit, also has a website in game. Fruit, think simple, think minimalism, think overpriced, think fruit. Think! You are not thinking hard enough. Maybe you are a tosser. With Fruit, you are finally living. Design has evolved to make your life worth living. You are in a cocoon. A fruit cocoon. The new iFruit phone! No buttons, no reception, no storage capacity, all ego. I bet you didn't know that Crappy had a website. If we look at some of their products here, they have the slapdash inflatable dining room table and the shoddy bed designed for people without a sex life. Only $20 and 20 hours of assembly time, made of bamboo effect plastic. All crappier products come with a month's guarantee. We also have freejames.org. Unfortunately, this man seems to be imprisoned in Indonesia. You can see some messages of support to James. There is a letter to the president of Indonesia. And we also have a message from James. I want to top this off with a few websites to do with travel. 
We have American Travel Guide here, which is everything we need to know about traveling in Europe. Look, we know the United States of Europe is a terrifying place. A patchwork of third world backwaters where the pop music is cheesy, American has-been stars are treated like gods, the cars are small, and you have to pay a toothless crone to take a shit in a squat hole. The men kiss, the women don't shave, and the children drink wine. When not on strike, Europeans are paralytic by 10am, take a three hour lunch, and spend their afternoon sleeping or sitting around in cafes whining about lost empires. And if you're looking to travel to Europe during the summer, beware. The entire continent gets three months paid leave from work, so the place is a madhouse. It is quite evident that those with a healthy, workaholic manner got out 300 years ago. One thing that surprises many Americans when they travel abroad is that not everybody loves a superpower. The filthy streets of Europe are full of chain-smoking clodhoppers who will think nothing of murdering you in your sleep just for being a freedom lover. Devious Ploys The wily Europeans have come up with some devious ploys designed to throw the hapless American tourist into a spiral of disorientation and paranoia from the moment he steps on foreign soil. They change the time so that you think you have arrived for dinner but end up having breakfast and feeling like you're hungover. And their breakfast is awful. You are hard pressed to find decent bacon or gravy. They have 31 months out of the year but only 12 days a month. Don't be alarmed when you arrive and it's 27 12 08. Let's take a look at some travel tips before we move on. Always travel in large groups. Stick to resort destinations and bus tours. Take as many photos as possible, especially of poor people. Never ask a local person for directions, they do not understand the concept of blocks. If you do end up waiting a long time to be served in a shop or restaurant, take the proprietor aside and explain to him how to run a business. Our last website will be peep that shit. This website has information on pretty much everything in Liberty City, like bars and restaurants. It will tell you about street vendors, fast food. You can click on either of these. We can take a look at Burger Shot and it will tell us about Burger Shot. If we go back to Cluck and Bell, uh, it's quite funny actually because this whole section is sponsored by Burger Shot. So under Cluck and Bell, sponsored by Burger Shot. We also have other things here like the Homebrew Cafe or Comrades Bar both locations we know from the story, as well as Mr. Folk's rice box. Steinway Beer Garden also makes an appearance here. We also have Shop Till You Drop. We have high fashion, street fashion, hip hop, outdoor, skate. Let's go to high fashion. And it will show us all of these high fashion places that we can find in the city. Of course, we can only find purse use. Going to sports and activities, we can see that it promotes bowling and it tells you both locations as to where you can find a bowling alley. There's also a section about dating. It promotes lovemeet.net as obviously the main dating website, but sometimes real perverts like to use crapless to meet society's worst dregs for no holds barred smut. Referencing again Alex. There's also the museums that we have in the city. The Libertonian is one that we can, of course, visit. Looking on crap list, there's so many very, very silly posts and, and, and stuff like that that you can find. I'm not going to read any of these now. You can pause and read any of these if you would like. The internet is nowhere near as deep as it was in GTA 5. They really upped themselves in Grand Theft Auto 5 by having websites that are interactive pretty much all the way through. This was an interesting first step for, for Rockstar, for to implement a, an internet into a Grand Theft Auto game. And like I said, they did do a much better job in GTA 5, as the websites there were a lot more interactive. A lot of the ones here uh, are just there to look at and, and read uh, a, a few of the, uh, the funny posts and some of the funny uh, uh, strings of text that they have on these websites. I want to do a more in-depth video on Grand Theft Auto 5's uh, internet uh, soon, so keep an eye out for that one coming in the next month or so. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it breezy, and take it sleazy.